So I just wanted to make a couple corrections to my last uh, albedo calculation video. Basically, I was describing how to make a support defense build where we were trying to focus a bit on the burst damage, but that scales off of attack. If you want to make a really pure defensive build, there's kind of a new meta strategy that's come out, which is using a three star sword. And it's not the one with the defense percent substat, but it's actually, I think, the harp bringer of dawn so basically what is so good about this is that when it's fully max refined you have a 46.9 percent crit damage and then if your hp is above 90 percent then you have a 28 percent critical rate this is really good and i did not take this into account in my calculations because i was not considering i basically didn't know that the the damage that his solar isotoma can do when the blossom procs can crit and so basically it will scale with critical damage and crit rate which kind of um would change a lot of the things i said because in the artifact set build now it would be a lot better to actually use um look for crit rate and crit damage substats and one of the ruins I would say should be a crit damage substat because now we can kind of maximize that multiplier there and if we can get a pretty high crit rate what this will allow us to do is basically reach kind of the 10,000 damage um, cap a lot easier so in this video we can see here that he's hitting for about 9,000 or very close to 10,000 damage and according to the calculations I had done before, not including resistance and all of that stuff, you would have needed about 3,000 defense in order to achieve this. Um, but because we're able to crit, then as you can see somewhere here, he's able to get about 10,000 damage with the crits. And that is a lot easier and a, a lot of an easier way to actually reach that number so if we look at um, this guy's stats basically his defense is only 2000 which is a lot more manageable and then we don't need to worry about the attack the base attack at all um, as you can see in the video his base attack hits are very very tiny basically so about 200 damage it's a absolute fraction of this the drawback of this build that I'd like to bring attention to is that your burst, your Q, is going to be completely useless. It's not going to uh, do basically anything. You know, it, it might hit for a thousand or something, some absolutely tiny amount like that, or two thousand. Um, what's so good about this build, though, is that you can drop him like this, and then I think you can switch to your main DPS unit. The crit rate chance should carry over um, while they're on the field and so you're going to be able to hit for this massive extra damage so if that makes sense so if you hit with the Klee and you proc the blossom you should be able to theoretically get an extra 10,000 damage on top of your normal main DPS attack so that's pretty insane um, the other stats that we wanted to that I wanted to show here is that this guy he's got 65% crit rate and then a hundred almost 70% crit damage so obviously it's very important to scale off of this um, crit damage and that was something I did not bring attention to so in order to change the artifact set what I would recommend is having a crit damage ruin um, having this sword so then you're going to get a ton of crit damage from those two looking for crit rate crit damage and defense percent substats and then i would say having at least two defense percent ruins and then your flat attack and flat hp ruin and that should get you pretty close to about 10,000 um kind of damage hits so here i did a little bit of a test where basically i pulled out um i put on the uh, Harbringer sword, basically the three star with the crit rate and the crit damage, and I was hitting for about 1500. My artifacts stay the same throughout this test, and the sword is at level 60. So I'll show you after, but basically my crit rate was about 30%, and my crit damage was about 88%. The difference once you max this sword out and actually put good artifacts on is that the amount of times you're going to crit is 
over 1 and 2. So out of every, basically, it, if you have your crit rate above 50%, you should be hit. You should be critting at least on every second shot. Um, so here we can see the substats that I have. Basically, my defense is only about nine hundred, and then my crit rate and crit damage are very low, but they're still there um, due to this sword um, being there. When I switch to the festering desire, which is the sword that I recommended before, we can see sort of a different. Um, kind of layout here. What's going to happen, we're going to see the difference in the change in damage numbers. The Festering Desire is really good, I would say, for if you're going for the defense support build along with some burst utilization because you're going to get a ton of energy recharge so you can get that burst often and you're going to have a higher base attack. So you're not going to be missing out on that too, too much. Um, so basically, this is definitely the build that will give you more of a burst potential along with the uh, defense um, the defense blossom damage. So you can see here, the hits, they're ranging about, that was a crit hit, that was about, that was 1,400 or 1,500 almost, and the crit rate on him currently is 5% and I think the crit damage is about 50%. So um, 1162 or whatever is what I was consistently hitting here. It was a little bit lower at the beginning, which I'm not sure about, but I get about five hits of the same. So something might have happened with the defense. I th also think um, the Geo shield bonus or something, which is about 15% attack increase, also might have come into play. So I just wanted to kind of make that distinction between those two um, different types of meta builds. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to power this sword up, but it does actually take some resources. So if you are really scraping the bottle, bottom of the barrel, um, honestly, at this point, I would recommend maxing out your four star sword because you're getting a 1.5 multiplier on the um, experience during the event period. So right now, putting all of your crystals into that sword is probably the better call. And if you're using Albedo and do like his burst, then that sword is actually going to give you better results. And just look for as much defense as you can um, in sort of the substats. But basically, this other build can get out more of those high damage numbers and is a better kind of support build. But just remember your um, elemental burst is going to be basically useless. Um, thanks for listening and have a nice day. Subscribe if you like the video.